for this morning's Happier at Home. Deb Marcello is joining us this morning, and we are talking about the importance of home pedicures. Deb, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? I am doing well. It's always good to see you. All right, first of all, let's talk about, especially for older loved ones, the importance of, of foot care in general, and then we'll kind of dive into the, the idea of pedicures. Okay. Well, in general, I mean, you want to take care of yourself. Your feet are often forgotten. And I mean, as uh, just a, a woman, it's fun to uh, take care of every part of yourself and make sure that you focus on your feet, but specifically for elderly people uh, and diabetics in particular, as you get older, there can be more and more problems with your feet. Uh, so many older adults have problems with fungal infections in their nails. Uh, pain just from uh, arthritis mm. and other conditions that are more common as you get older, but so specifically the sequelae of diabetes, uh, this makes it very important to specifically take care of your feet and even get a podiatrist involved in the case of diabetics. Yeah, so a pedicure is one way to kind of do this in, in a fun way, if you will. So talk about what we need to know about providing a, a home pedicure for, for an older loved one. And uh, perhaps you can bring in uh, an expert too, if that person uh, you know has trouble getting to, to uh, a nail salon. Correct, and this should happen on a regular basis. That's why I say it would be great to put this in as part of your routine, routine every couple weeks if you can't do it because there are mobility problems on occasion with elderly people, um, then either have a family member do it or there are people who will come to your home or you can go to a spa as well. But what I would love like people to try is to kind of make it a spa at your home. Get some candles, get your towels ready, have a basin for your feet and prepare something like that so it's not only helping your health and avoiding systemic problems, but also it's good for your soul. Yeah, a little bit of self-care there. So what do we need? Uh, take us through the steps of, uh, of what we need to have in place and, and how we go about this too, because you do want people to kind of, you know, check for any issues they may be having as well. Correct. Um, so uh, as I said, you get a basin mm. and um, first start by removing your nail polish if you have any nail polish. I like to use these little cotton rounds. It uh, works best, but you can use um, cotton balls if you like. One of the really important things, even if you're not doing your own spa pedicure at home for diabetics, is to get a mirror and make sure you're checking your feet all of the time, even on a daily basis for diabetics. Look underneath your feet with the mirror to make sure you're not developing any sores or um, in between your toes, your nails can rub on the opposite toe and gouge your skin. Or even if there's reddened areas, you need to make sure that you address those immediately. If you're a diabetic, um, seeing a podiatrist is the best thing for that. Then um, you use something like these Epsom salts and you put it right in the warm water. Epsom salts have magnesium in it. So it not only will soften up the skin uh, so you can get rid of calluses, but also the magnesium helps it as a muscle, um, not a relaxer, but it just helps to soothe muscles. Mm. Yeah, it just, and quickly mention, we've got a few seconds left, Deb, just the importance okay. of self-care. We've got about 30 seconds left. Yeah, it just, it, it helps your whole, the whole person. Mm -hmm. You look at yourself holistically, um, your diet, exercise making t making sure you're taking care of your feet it's very it's it's a it, it's something that will really will help you to avoid problems um even uh with further systemic medical problems if yeah. you're taking care of your feet always good tips when you're on with us deb good to see you thank you so much great to see you too